Yes, this is Defender, one of the classic games from the Atari 2600 VCS system. And there are also such classes like Combat, Phoenix, Pac-Man, and Space Invaders. But what stands out out of all of these games and this system? Well, in 1989, there was a little system that introduced the Bit Wars, and that system was the Sega Genesis. Genesis the Sega Genesis is one of the major gems in video game history, and it is the biggest, most baddest system on the entire planet with high definition graphics. That's a lie. But it did hold 16 bits and blast processing to play Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I think is like one of the best games in one of the many in the library of the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis had a library similar of, you know, similar to the Atari 2600 and the NES and the Nintendo 64's library, but they held more power, as in it was better than the Super Nintendo. Actually, Super Nintendo was really better, but you know what I mean. There's a saying in the commercial, Genesis does what Nintendo don't. But you know about that. And there were multi-carts that were introduced to the Sega 16-bit era, which are this six-pack. So technically I have 12 games in total of this the massive library of games, two Mortal Kombat games, two Sonic games, I got Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, Super, Hang On, and Centipede, Missile Command, and Pong. There are only three games, which kind of sucks. But, nonetheless, I still have a limited supply of cartridges. <coughs> The Sega Genesis cartridges fit into the Sega Genesis snugly and well placed. This looks like a hookup for an Atari 2600 controller or accessory, right? Well, you are wrong because this says Sega on it and meaning it is the Sega Genesis controller which doesn't look that fantastic. It's got the... it's got the... It's got the Larry Curly Mo kind of layout for the three buttons, and it's, 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 it's weird. But the D-pad's pretty innovative, and, but, it has the same hookup, which means you can hook it up to your Atari 2600, meaning I could play Combat, or Pac-Man, or even Defender with ease. So, that means it's an alternative to playing Atari 2600 games rather than the joystick or the paddles. Which I think is freaking amazing. I think it's awesome. It's awesome, and it fits snugly into the Sega Genesis as well. If I could just get that in there. There we go. Fits snug in there. So that's the Sega Genesis, and I think it is like the greatest system ever, or that I've played. Uh, games are easier than, you know, something more complicated as Super Mario Brothers for the NES, but we'll not talk about that. And uh, without further ado, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this.
review and welcome to season two of classic console reviews. I forgot to mention there are different ways that you could hook this up to your TV. One of them being it looks like you could use uh, um, external imports like for like computer screen or something like that. And another is well it looks like S video but it really isn't. It's composite video cables. So uh it looks like S video but it really isn't. Oh and by RF by RF it's it's right over here. Red red light red lights hovering. It's RF. Wish I could get a flashlight for the freaking thing. Um but anyways, yeah. I forgot to mention that. So uh by the way red light could hover there. Oh, never mind. Oh, red light is hovering there, but barely. If you can see that, this and this do not look the same. But it works. It fits and it works. So, yeah. I actually enjoy this system still and I always will. The Sega Genesis. It is awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. It is a good system. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you in the next episode.